Robin is an excellent zoning fighter and prevails at baiting their opponent into punishable situations. Robin is best played with a passive and defensive playstyle. Even in situations where Robin is forced to approach, Robin is still able to pressure the opponent with Thunder Spells, Arc Fire, the discarded Leaven Sword, and Tomes. Jab 1 can be used out of shield as it is disjointed and rather quick. Robin's rapid jab is best to be used at low percents and can be used after down throw. It can also be used as a mix up after auto cancel forward air or any other aerial to intercept an opponent trying to approach. Around 0 to 35%, some characters can air dodge or use a combo breaking move before jab 3 comes out. At roughly 35% and beyond, it'll usually connect regardless. Landing Jab 3 is good for giving you space to charge your Thunder Spells. It can kill around 110% and beyond at the ledge without rage. Rapid Jab 3 is situational and is best used at 0-10% to on anyone who is not a fast faller. After 10%, anyone who is not a fast faller is not guaranteed to be hit by the Rapid Jab's final hit. However, around 0-40% to on most fast followers, the last hit will connect. DIing up and away will skew the aforementioned percent ranges. Down tilt gives you access to a faster and safer way to catch discarded tomes and swords, with the tech known as arm shifting. I'll leave a link to the guide on arm shifting in the description. Similarly to Robin's jab, it can be used after an auto-canceled forward air to intercept approaches. Forward tilt is pretty bad and very situational. You can use it to catch rolls, but if you're in a position where this can be done, it's more advantageous to dash or pivot grab instead. I will cover why later in the video when I discuss Robin's really good grab game. Up tilt lets Robin combo from down throw at around 30-50%. to 50%. It's disjointed and can lead to strings with up air or even itself. Unfortunately, it's kind of a subpar anti-air move. Neutral air is good for aerial zoning, gimping, edge guarding, and crossing up shields. It's faster than forward air and has a slightly bigger horizontal hitbox as well. If you buffer neutral air from a short hop, it will auto cancel when Robin hits the ground. Neutral air will put an enemy in a tech chase situation around 30%. You can cover these tech chases using arc fire, thunder spells, or if you're lucky you can run up a dash attack. Forward air is Robin's best zoning aerial and has good baiting, anti-air, spacing, and combo potential. With forward air, Robin can force the opponent to use defensive options like shielding, rolling, or waiting to approach with a grab. If the opponent is comfortable shielding, forward air in front of them, take note what option they take. If they grab, you can use jab 1 to intercept it. If they stay in shield because you've conditioned them to expect and block jabs after the forward air, you can use Nosferatu, Arc Fire, or Arc Thunder to pressure their shield. If they roll away after Arc Fire or Arc Thunder hits their shield, you can chase them with a grab, dash attack, or a quick thunder spell. It's also a decent way of getting back on stage. If you jump back off the ledge and forward air, you won't receive a lot of ending lag and it may knock your opponent away from edge guarding you. Forward air serves as a combo extender or even a combo ender from almost all of Robin's setups that I will discuss later on in the video. Back air is good for shield pressuring and confirming kills earlier where forward air does not. On shield it has a decent amount of shield stun and pushes characters with low traction away too far for a shield grab. However, characters with good burst options like Falcon or Meta Knight can still possibly punish it. Down air is very situational and committal, but can lead to an easy gimping tech if you know the right percents on the opposing character. The tech I'm referring to has been named Ignis by the Robin community. Ignis is when Robin combos the ending of Arc Thunder with down air. The knockback formula adds the resulting knockback values together, causing the victim of it to receive extreme horizontal knockback and hit stun, often making it difficult or even impossible for some characters to recover. I'll leave a link in the description listing Ignis percent ranges for all characters. Every thunder spell is fantastic for zoning and pressuring the opponent. Each spell will be a lot more useful in different matchups and circumstances. Thunder is very quick and doesn't need charging. It makes opponents keep their distance. 
Even though its damage output is not that high, it adds up greatly over time if your opponent does not choose the correct option to avoid being hit constantly. L Thunder takes roughly 20 frames to charge and is even better for zoning due to its range. It can kill about 1 to 25 to 140 percent on stage near the ledge. It can catch tech chases that you can't catch by running due to Robin's poor run speed. It unfortunately clanks with other projectiles very very easily. Arguably Arc Thunder is Robin's best special move due to its devastating combo potential, shield pressure and even its raw kill power. Its velocity increases exponentially as it's in the air, but unfortunately it activates when hitting most projectiles. An important thing to remember about Doron is that holding down the B button makes Doron stronger, but slightly slower. Even with that drawback, Thoron is still extremely fast. Its range and speed makes it efficient for catching landings and ground movement. Strong Thoron can kill from anywhere on stage around 140-150% to and beyond on characters that aren't heavyweights, and 160% and beyond on heavyweights. Thoron, unlike its predecessing variants, goes through projectiles. You will also receive a lot more lag when using Strong Thoron. Be mindful that Thoron cannot be B reversed, but all other Thunder spells can. This is good for mixing up your landings or even baiting your opponent. Arcfire is an amazing edge guarding and ledge trapping tool. When placed at the ledge, it can cover many options, including staying on the ledge and waiting for the fire to stop. It can be B reversed either direction. This allows you to approach or retreat with Arcfire. The only setup that leads into Arc Fire is from Arc Thunder. It only works based off your opponent's relative position to where the opponent got hit by the Arc Thunder. Even then, it only works at low percents, roughly 0 to 30 percent, and they can fall out of it or air dodge out of the Arc Fire. After the last hit of Arc Fire, you can follow up with any attack that suits the moment best. Arc Fire also does not true combo into the last hit of itself and can be SDI'd out of pretty easily. Nosferatu is an excellent command grab. The best guaranteed setups for Nosferatu are Arc Thunder to Nosferatu or Arc Fire to Nosferatu. Nosferatu will outspace standing grabs that aren't tethers. Here's a couple of things to note about Nosferatu. It heals more percent when grabbing your opponent from behind. It can grab opponents through platforms from below. This allows you to condition your opponent to think you're going to use aerials, but instead use Nosferatu as a mix-up. The higher percent apart from the opponent you are, the more you heal. Nosferatu can only be used four times per tome. Although that may seem unfortunate, you can use this to your advantage by getting an easily discarded tome for pressuring, zoning, and comboing. Nosferatu comes back after 40 seconds. It comes out on frame 15, and the first active frame is 56, so try not to whiff it near the opponent or you will be easily punished. The black purple mist that comes out of the grabbed opponent has a hitbox that will knock away other players. This is kind of good to know for team play, I guess. Elwind is Robin's only recovery option, but also has other applications. Because Elwind can spike, it serves as a tool for edge guarding certain characters. Similarly to Down Air, because it spikes, it can also perform Ignis. Elwind's Ignis works at a much later percent than Down Air's Ignis, as Elwind has lower knockback. Forward Smash is a solid smash attack. It kills around 70 to 85% near the ledge. It's good for air dodge reads after down throw because it has a horizontal knockback angle that will kill really early. Down smash is arguably Robin's best smash attack. It kills around 85 to 95% near the ledge and has a large hitbox in front and behind because of the sparks that fly during the animation of the attack. Similarly to forward smash, it works as a punish option for air dodge reads after down throw. 
It is active for a while so it can catch neutral ledge getup, double jump from the ledge, and roll from the ledge. It does an immense amount of shield damage. The second hit of down smash may shield poke opponents whose shield is already damaged. Up smash doesn't have many applications, however it's slightly stronger than up air, and it can string from up tilt. It can be used for platform tech chases from below. Auto cancelled up air does the job a bit better, but up smash kills slightly earlier. Down throw lets Robin rack up damage from lower percents. It also combos into up air, referred to as checkmate. Checkmate is lethal from around 90 to 120% without rage depending on the character's weight. If the opponent DI's away, then you are still able to follow up with up air for most of the characters on the roster. Forward throw isn't really used unless you're trying to toss them off stage for an edge guard situation. Forward throw to Thoron only works if the opponent is too slow with jumping or air dodging. Back throw gives Robin space to charge thunder spells at lower percents and is a kill throw at around 120% and beyond near the ledge. Up throw is literally trash. Don't use it. Similarly to Cloud Charging Limit, a Robin player must understand that charging spells and waiting for tomes to respawn causes the opponent to approach. Take this into consideration and use it to your advantage. Having spells charged may condition your opponent to shield more in anticipation. Keep this in mind and punish with Robin's excellent grab game. Robin can approach an enemy backwards when Robin has Arc Thunder charged. This creates a vicious mind game setup that is very non-committal. Robin can either B reverse the Arc Thunder, hit their shield, and after hitting their shield can either grab or reset neutral. Or, Robin can back air, tomahawk grab, Nosferatu. There's a myriad of options to mix up the opponent. Many players won't know how to handle arc fire at the ledge and may roll in panic to get to safety. Punish this with whatever option is best at the moment. When Robin misses checkmate because the opponent successfully air dodged, Robin can immediately frame trap the opponent and go for another grab. Keep in mind, missing up air after down throw may condition the opponent to believe they are out of the percent, whether they are or are not. Capitalize on their fear by baiting the air dodge with any strong punish. If you know a tome or the Levin Sword is about to expire, try holding shield at the same time it is supposed to leave Robin's hands. The item will be casted out through the shield and may catch your opponent off guard. Tomes and the discarded Levin Sword can jab lock opponents at very early percents. A reliable setup to get this is to land an Arc Thunder, run up, footstool your opponent, and throw the book down as you footstool. There's also another kill confirm known as Checkmate 2.0. It involves using a discarded Tome or Sword and Arc Thunder. Perform it by hitting Arc Thunder, running up, doing a full hop above them, throwing your sword down while aiming for their back, double jump, and up air to catch them as soon as they soar away. This will kill really early, but it is incredibly situational. 